The House question period erupts when conservative members grill Trudeau on the Emergency Act and the surveillance aircraft that flew over the truckers' convoy protest. Was the military deployed for this? Trudeau explains that this was simply a training exercise and had nothing to do with the convoy and that this is simply conspiracy. Here's the clip. <laughs> I think there's a lot of heckling from all sides. For Sturgeon River Parkland. Mr. Speaker, Canadians are rightly concerned about this Liberal government's political interference with the inquiry into the Emergencies Act. The Prime Minister has refused to turn over key evidence that Cabinet used to justify invoking extraordinary powers, and questions remain on how and why they selected Justice Rouleau to head the inquiry. Can the Prime Minister clear the air and confirm to this House, did any minister or member of their political staff speak with Justice Rouleau about the inquiry before his appointment, yes or no? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, when we invoked the Emergencies Act, we ensured that it was done in a proportional and time-limited way uh, to enable uh, to have the kind of restoring of order that we needed in Canada while maintaining people's confidence in the transparency and the accountability of democracy. Uh, that's why we move forward uh, with the Parliamentary Committee. That's why we've moved forward uh, with a national public inquiry as required to be able to give that full transparency. I can understand the Conservatives are concerned concerned about this, Mr. Speaker. They're worried uh, that it's going to show the level to which their support for these blockaders contributed to the difficulties for so many Canadians. The Honourable Member for Renfrew Nipissing Pembroke. Mr. Speaker, the government must invoke the National Defence Act to use the military for civilian law enforcement. The government insists it did not deploy the military during the February demonstrations in Ottawa. Now we know surveillance flights were conducted over Ottawa at that time. Did the government invoke any statute to deploy the Canadian Armed Forces in this manner? Or was the surveillance conducted without lawful authority? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the flight in question was part of a Canadian Armed Forces training exercise that was planned prior to and was unrelated to the convoy protest. Now, Mr. Speaker, I think this is a perfect example where uh, the official opposition in this country needs to be very careful about spreading... I'll get you. I'll get order, order, order. I'll let the Prime Minister restart. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Here is the facts, Mr. Speaker. The flight in question was part of a Canadian Armed Forces training exercise that was planned prior to and was unrelated to the convoy protest. That's the fact, Mr. Speaker. Now, what the uh, official opposition is playing with right here is dangerously close to misinformation and disinformation. When they choose to make political hay out of something that is could be concerning to many people if it were true, but is simply not. And I think it's important and it behooves all of us in this House to demonstrate responsible leadership in how we move forward. Here, here. The Honourable Member for South Surrey, White Rock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister said, and I quote, one has to be very, very cautious before deploying military in situations engaging Canadians. It is not something that anyone should enter in lightly, end quote. Yet now we have learned that Canada's special forces were operating surveillance aircraft, I'm sure they were just in training, over Ottawa during the February truckers' protests. This contradicts everything the government has said to date. Liberals didn't put soldiers on our streets, but they did put them in the air, Mr. Speaker. Wow. How can the Prime Minister justify using military assets to surveil? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. to pay very careful attention to this exchange. What the member opposite just engaged in is dangerously close to misinformation and disinformation designed to gin up fears and, uh, and conspiracy theories uh, around 
around uh, what happened uh, a number of months ago. It is entirely irresponsible for members of Her Majesty's loyal in, uh, opposition to, uh, to stray so close to misinformation and disinformation. I would ask them to be more responsible. Um. We did, we did cross a couple of lines there that I just want to be careful when we talk about misinformation and what we impugn other members of actually doing. So I just want to be careful, and I heard it from all sides. So I just want to make sure that I want to make sure I heard... of the question period and then that'll be that. Do we want to continue with question period? That is my question. Yes please? Yes please? Very good. The Honourable Member for Lethbridge. Well, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that those I can keep, I can, I can, hold on a sec, no, I'm still, I'm still on this. I'm still on this. Out of control. We need to bring it down just a little bit so that the people watching above, the people watching it at home, can understand that we're having debate that is important to Canadians. So let's bring it down. The Honourable Member for Lethbridge. The Emergencies Act can only be invoked if there is no other law in Canada that can deal with the situation at hand. Now, it appears that there was a military surveillance that was conducted during the Ottawa protest. I find that very interesting, as do many Canadians, because either the government authorized this flyover, this military surveillance, without lawful authority, or, or they utilized another law in Canada, namely the National Defence Act, and therefore the Emergencies Act wasn't required. So which is it? Did the government conduct military surveillance illegally or did they invoke the Emergencies Act illegitimately? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Or, Mr. Speaker, the flight in question was part of a Canadian Armed Forces training exercise that was planned prior to and unrelated to the convoy protest. Mr. Speaker, that is the facts as put forward. Now, the choice of the Conservative Party of Canada to drum up and allude to conspiracy theories and come dangerously close to spreading misinformation and disinformation is something we need to be very careful about. Comment applies. The Honourable Member for Burnaby South. 